Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, you can also check me out on iOSgenius.com. Also, feel free to subscribe to the right side in the information of El Capitan as well as Yosemite as well as the other related applications to educational and enterprise. Uh, today we're going to go over the Apple Configurator 2.0. Uh, this is actually the 2.0 version that is supported through uh, El Capitan. If you are on Yosemite, you would be running in version 1.5 or 1.7, and if you are on Mavericks, it will be 1.4. So this is basically a whole new application. They kind of revamped it. They uh, made it look a little bit more shinier, look nice and neat, just like it would be in an iTunes. Um, but pretty much everything still is the same. The only thing difference is uh, there is something called Blueprints. There is also another feature uh, besides blueprints, uh, is that when you import your normally do an Apple configurator, you import, uh, you purchase your apps through the VPP site, and when you download it, uh, it gives you an Excel sheet when you're requesting for redemption codes. So at this point, with 2.0, you won't be using redemption codes anymore. Now they want you to use managed distribution. Uh, basically, it's just a different process. Uh, and it's actually a little bit more easier. Whereas normally you would download, you would redeem it through iTunes, then you would, uh, uh, once you're downloaded from iTunes, then you would have to open an Apple Configurator to import that specific app. Now in Apple Configurator, you're not working with iTunes anymore. Now you're working with just Apple Configurator, how you can actually, uh, in, not import, but to uh, bring that application that you want to purchase through there. So let's go ahead and open Apple Configurator, which is right down here, as you can see. It's a whole complete different kind of look, still kind of purple, uh, instead of the black icon in the center and a black border around to the circle, it's all white. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And basically there's a license and agreement and uh, for the new Apple Configurator 2. Also another thing, it's going to go through an import process. So this is a kind of computer that has uh, previous VPP codes uh, that were used, but they're saved in Apple Configurator. So we're just going to go ahead and hit accept. Now here's the prompt for the migration assistant. As you can see, it's a new model managing devices that do not use the database to store device configurations. So basically, um, it's going to go through the same process. It's just telling you, hey, we got new things. Uh, we got blueprints as well. Blueprints is basically an imaging. So similar how you normally do in iTunes, you would restore a device. Well, it's actually just called a blueprint. And the blueprint is basically, it just copies the image, how you exactly have it. If you have it in folders and subfolders and et cetera, all the icons, that's how it's going to redeploy to all the other iPads. So we're going to go ahead and select and continue. You can select do not migrate, but the issue is when you select them do not migrate and you have, this is a computer you've used, app configurator for with VPP codes, it will not um, migrate those apps over to the new version. So it's always best to go ahead and continue to next so it can migrate it over. So we're going to go ahead and migrate and select next. It's going to go through your um, folder where you actually have your codes that you used in the past. Now understand, from going from this point forward through the migration, at the end, it's going to tell you that you will need to go ahead and continue to purchase through a managed dist distribution, then instead of doing it through the VPP codes. Uh, if you do not do that, what is going to happen is, and if you do purchase as VPP by accident or so forth, there is a number through this Apple configurator that you need to call this number. And I've already called the number. They basically ask you uh, where you're from, what is the school company name or the enterprise company name for the email that's associated to it. And they will actually send you a converted file that converts to the managed distribution uh, from your VPP codes. So we're going to go ahead and continue. So here's enterprise apps. Uh, we have none because we're actually a school education. We have do have configuration and prof, uh, provisioning profiles. So basically, it's just your profile manager. You have create. We don't have user documents, uh, but for those that have user documents like iBooks or uh, pages or so forth, that you normally upload and share. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, when we hit next, now here is basically 
tells you what I've just told you, which is the Apple Configurator 2 uses managed distribution licenses to install apps purchased through the Volume Purchase Program. You no longer have to import spreadsheets of the VP codes. You will be prompted to enter a VPP facilitator credentials when installing apps with Apple to configure it, which I can show you this in a moment. It's basically just logging into your iTunes account, uh, but it's actually done in Apple Configurator. And then it says your VPP codes can be exported from previous versions uh, and saved as files. Uh, so you will need to actually contact Apple if you do run into this problem. And there is a number right there is 1-800-275-2273. Uh, and that is a number to call if you did purchase VPP codes and you actually need to get managed distribution licenses. So that's what it is. And um, you want to go ahead, you can export the volume purchase program codes. So basically, if you have volume purchase programs from previously and all the licenses you normally have, and which on the right side will show you you have this app and you have 20 licenses or 50 or 100, this is basically going to convert those specific licenses over to the managed distribution. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Here is our any device backup. So these are your images that you have for the actual master. So the master here is only under 30 megs or under 40 megs. And this is how you want it to deploy. So this master will actually go into your blueprints, and then from your blueprints, uh, you would be able to deploy out that specific master. So we want to go ahead and select next. So here are your blueprints is what it states. So there are prepare settings, migrate it, and there is the master, which is card six, uh, uh, S9 will be the ninth device. So here to prepare your settings, supervise device, Configurations can be converted to Apple II Configurator blueprints. One blueprint will be created for each unique supervised device configuration. So basically, you can have 15 or 30 or however the case additional iPads uh, that have specific settings to each individual one for whatever different needs there are. Maybe it's for a, a, a student who's, who's impaired or vision impaired or hearing impaired. It can be very different settings, and you can have that. And so if your institution, your school, is on a one-to-one -one basis, those, this will definitely help out. So you want to go ahead and select Next. So basically it just says we're kind of really done. Uh, we're going to migrate your data from the previous version to the migrated version, which will be selected uh, of the data that you've chosen. So here is 32.4 megs. It's going to do configuration, pro provisioning profiles, the volume purchase program codes, which are going to be converted to your managed distribution, and then one device backup. So we're just going to do one device backup uh, that was originally done for the master from Apple Configurator prior to, which is 1.7, 1.5, 1.4 that you've normally used in the past, is just going to migrate it over to the new version. So we're going to hit next. Uh, then this basically is just going to say where do you want to export these um, new items. So we're just going to say desktop. We'll just put it here. I don't think we need to create a folder, but I'm going to create one anyways. So we're just going to call this uh, Apple Config. Um, we'll say 2015. So there it is. As you can see, it popped up here in the corner. So we're going to always select on migrate. And now it's just basically doing the migration from the previous version of Apple Configurator, which has VPP codes, to a managed distribution process, which is on Apple Configurator 2. So we're going to go ahead and hit Finish. Now this is Apple Configurator. So Apple Configurator opens up. 